Welcome to the pregame, I'm Ken Abrere. Well, it's the day before the day before the Ottawa Red Blacks line up and trade paint with the Calgary Stampeders to open up the 2017 regular season campaign. It's gonna be a great night for football here at TD Place, a great chance for the team to celebrate their Grey Cup victory, but then it's getting down to business. It's about lining up and competing. And this Red Black squad is ready to rule. Yeah, it's a, a little bit of, uh, of, of anticipation, nervousness, a good nervousness so that you know that's gonna be for real this time and the game's gonna count. And um, so guys are uh, itching to get going and we'll continue getting ready. We still have work to do, but it'll be, uh, it'll be fun to, to play for real Friday night. We, we want to play smart, fast football. And um, that's, that's what we're trying to structure our practices and preach to our players is that we're not trying to be perfect. I don't think perfect's the answer in life or on the football field. I think the answer is though is striving for excellence and, and, and being good. And that's what, uh, that's what we're gonna try to do. And that's what it's gonna take to beat these guys is you gotta play fast, you gotta play hard, you gotta play smart and then, uh, you know, go from there. Um, you know, it doesn't matter who we line up against, uh, whether it's Calgary, Hamilton, Toronto, Winnipeg, whatever, it's, we're, gonna, we're gonna make sure that we bring it every single week. And, you know, every week's an opportunity. And, you know, a lot of people have been like, how's it gonna be defending the Grey Cup? And it's not defending the Grey Cup. This is another opportunity for us to go out and uh, prove our worth. In fact, the matter is it's going to be a great game Friday night here at TD Place between the Grey Cup champion home team and the Western champion Calgary Stampeders. Here are my three keys that could spell the difference for the Red Blacks on Friday night. Three. Key number three for the Red Blacks is running back William Powell. Talk about a guy who can mambo in a payphone booth and talk about being a feel-good story. Last year in preseason play, he blew out his Achilles on just a second carry against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. He's back, better than ever, ready to tote the rock and can't wait for Friday night. His biggest fan, head coach Rick Campbell, can't wait to see him play as well. It will probably be big time emotions. You know, everything for everything I've went through over the years and including last year, sitting out the whole year. I know it'll hit me and uh, it'll just get me that much more motivated and fired up to play. He's a good football player and we saw that at the, the whole second half of 2015. Mm -hmm. um, you could easily argue going into last year he could have been one of our most impactful offensive players and to lose him in the preseason game was a, was a downer for all of us, but it'll be good to see him back out there. He's a guy that um, can make something out of nothing. It doesn't always have to be perfectly blocked up. Um, and those are the real good ones, is the guys that can, can make something out of nothing because sometimes it gets messy and sometimes it's, it, it doesn't work out exactly how it's drawn up on the board. But he's the guy that can, uh, can make us all look good when he makes a couple people miss. Two. Key number two, stopping Calgary's running game. For some unexplained reason, the Calgary Stampeders chose not to use Jerome Messam that much in the 2016 Grey Cup. That will be a different story Friday night here at TD Place. Messam will get the ball early and often. You can count on it. So the job to slow him down falls on the shoulders of Khalil Bass, Tank Reed, and the rest of that defense. Yeah, great, great test for us as a defense, for uh, us as linebackers uh, specifically. Um, he's a great running back. You know, he led the lead last year. Uh, Massive guy, like you said, 260, 265. Uh, he's good out the backfield. You know, he's good in between the tackles. He's good outside. I mean, they have a great offensive line. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough test for Absolutely. Us. It's always fun for me playing against Messam in general. So I know that he likes to run the ball and be physical. And that's what I like to do also. What's the secret behind playing against a guy that's so big, so obvious, and, and so tough to stop? Uh, you just, once he sees that you're scared of him running downhill, then he kind of takes advantage of that. So I try to just, you know, give him everything I got, and I've been on the better side of the hits we've, we've exchanged. So. One. The number one key? Special teams. Yes, the Red Blacks have had Chris Williams back there returning punts and kicks, and they've had Jamil Smith, and they've also had Tristan Jackson, but no one really got the job done on a full-time basis through an entire regular season. So the Red Blacks of the offseason signed former Toronto Argonaut receiver Deontay Spencer, who is a legitimate special teams returner, and if he can step up and rise to the occasion and do that thing he does really well, that it's going to help this football team not just beat the Calgary Stampeders, but become even more dominant through the regular season. I'm really excited, you know, just to step in uh, to have a role, just to, you know, just to make plays. So whether it's on at special teams or, you know, playing receiver, it's, it's just something you want to bring to the team. It's, it's, it's kind of like an uh, excitement thing. It kind of gets the guys going, um, whether it's to start the game off with a big return or, 
you know, put the offense in a great third position on a, on a punt return. Um, it's just, you know, it's just, it's, it's like excitement. So um, the team, my teammates feed off of it and hopefully that's what I can bring uh, each and every week. So those are my three keys to victory for the Red Blacks as they host the Calgary Stampeders in the first half of what is a home and home set to open up their 2017 regular season. If you want additional Red Blacks coverage, join me, Lever Sage, and James Duke Ellingson for your pregame, in-game, and postgame coverage on TSN 1200. This has been the pregame. I'm Ken Averrett, and I'll see you at the ballpark real soon.